Welcome back. Happy New Year. And in today's video, I think I've been wanting to talk about um, comfortability and growth. And I guess um, starting this YouTube channel. Um, so I guess one of the reasons, the main reason why I started this YouTube channel was I felt God calling me to share what he has uh, revealed to me, what he has given to me in my, in my and through my life experiences with you all in a way to help you all get closer to, to God. And one of the things I initially thought before starting this uh, channel was like, who am I to do this? Like, I'm not a extrovert. I'm actually a introvert. I don't really have anything useful or good to say, I guess, was my thinking. And then I just kept feeling this pull at my heart, you know, just just speak, just share. And that's that's all you got to do. And so almost, I guess, back in March is when I started this channel and it's now January. So almost a year and still trying to put out these videos um, and just trying to share what God has given to me. And I guess I just reflect on uh, being comfortable and uncomfortable. And I think what God has shown me is that we can't grow when we stay comfortable and that it's in our uncomfortability where we take risks. And I've learned lately that faith is spelled R-I-S-K, taking risks. And yeah, so I, here I am thinking that what do I have to share? Like what kind of stories can I offer? And so I've just made videos this past couple of months just sharing my experiences with you all. And um, definitely uncomfortable for me to do, sit here in front of this uh, camera, record myself, send it out to the world for criticism and for negative, positive feedback. And, you know, I'm okay with whatever comes my way because I think what matters more is that I share what God has revealed to me and what God has given me. And I think ultimately, if it helps just one person out there come closer to God uh, through Jesus, then it's all worth it. And one of the stories that really stands out to me is when God called Moses to lead uh, the Israelites out of Egypt. And Moses was very fearful of it. He thought to himself, like, who, who am I? Like, people are not going to believe that God told me to help them uh, get out of Egypt. Um, Moses even said that he wasn't even an eloquent speaker. And he even asked God to send someone else. Uh, in Exodus chapter 3, uh, verse 10, God says, Now go, I am sending you to the Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? God answered, I will be with you. God will be with Moses. And then, uh, Exodus chapter 4, verse 10, Moses, however, said to the Lord, If you please, my Lord, I have never been eloquent, neither in the past nor now, that you have spoken to your servant. But I am slow of speech and tongue. The Lord said to him, Who gives one person speech? Who makes another mute or deaf, seeing or blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go, I will assist you in speaking and teach you what you are to say. But he said, If you please, my Lord, send someone else. So I guess that's uh, the struggle that I had kind of at the beginning of this. Um, and when I do struggle with uncomfortability and not being able to speak, I just think about this passage and that, you know what? God still chose Moses to bring the Israelites out of Egypt. 
whether Moses was eloquent or not, God still had a plan for him. And God even listened to Moses when Moses said that he wasn't an eloquent speaker and said, you know, your brother Aaron, your brother Aaron can speak. You just tell him and he'll speak to the people. So God wanted to communicate with Moses and then Moses communicate the message to Aaron. Then Aaron, the speaker, brings it out to uh, God's people. So uncomfortability, God will, will walk you through whatever you need to get through. He is with us and he is with you. He is with me. And this passage reminds us that who gives us the speech? Like it's, it's God. It comes from God. If it doesn't come from God, then we rely on ourselves and we're our own gods, right? And again, God is a jealous God. And so, yeah, I guess that has been really in my heart to talk about comfortability and uncomfortability. And if you find yourself in an uncomfortable position, thanks be to God, because now your reliance is not going to be on yourself. It's going to be on God to get you through what he wants you to get through. And so we should see uncomfortable moments as an opportunity to invite God in to help us. And if we're not stepping out of our comfort zones, then, then what are we doing? I don't think God called us um, to, to lead and live a comfortable life. I know he's called us to be reliant on him and not on ourselves. And so, yeah, this channel, just sharing stuff but again with about what God has revealed to me with you all. And I'm just basically relying on the strength of the Holy Spirit to, to use my tongue, to use my mouth, to fill me with words, to communicate to you the message that he wants to communicate with you. Because I, I guess I really don't have a message other than what God is trying to, to speak through me. And hopefully it brings one of you guys closer to Jesus. So... Thank you for watching and, you know, step out of your comfort zone and let God lead you.